Boxing, King Media in association with Boxroll. Back again with BCB's Dan Mould, the busiest promoters in the UK. Dan, another sh packed out show at the Eastside Rooms in Birmingham. What a show it's been. Yeah, it's been great. And like I said to you last week, we are the busiest promoters in Gull. We're back in action this evening. Got another show next week. Um, every week we got a, we got a show. You're not messing about. Let's go straight in. I've never seen this before. A 40-year-old making his boxing debut. I didn't know what to expect, but only in a BCB show. Only on a BCB show. Look, they say life begins at 40. I'm 42, he's 40. And I thought, to be fair to Cliff Henry, he did well. He fought Ben Thomas, who's a tough, tough guy. And he dropped it. He had him on the seat of his pants in the first round. So, impressive performance for a 40-year-old. And look, he spoke really well after. Um, he's a good guy. Where his journey will take him, who knows? But look, you know... We, we're not prejudiced on uh, BCB. If you've got gloves and you want to fight, then you can get on one of our shows. Definitely. There were shades of Chris Eubank Sr. in there with the music, the ring walk, even the way he was in the ring, very calm and very relaxed. Yeah, absolutely. And it, you could tell that it was something he'd always wanted to do. You've got to stop being an amateur at 40, as we all know. So he turns to the programmes. It'll be a fun journey, whatever journey he goes on. Andrew Robinson got him back in action again. Obviously, he's been he's had some big nights on matchroom shows. What's the plan for Andrew? He's obviously won his style tonight on points. He just wants to beat Damien Jonah. That's what Andrew Robinson wants to do. He's fought him twice now, beat him first time, got a draw out in Poland. Look, you know what a draw out in Poland means. But he wants to put that record straight, so he's looking at going back out there for a third time and getting another victory under his belt and, and, and putting that trilogy to bed against the guy who, before he fought Robinson, was about 41 and 0. So he wants to go out to Poland and get that victory and then he'll move on from there. Yeah, that guy was about 40, I don't know, wasn't he? Yeah, 40 and a real tough guy and Robinson was the first person to get a victory over him. They had the rematch. We thought he'd done enough over in Poland to get the victory, but that was called a draw. So, third time lucky for Andre. Another one of the road warriors from BCB, Kane Baker. Very unlucky to get a draw tonight. I thought he won. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, look, Kane's been on the road many times and, you know, when you're on the road, you don't always get the decision. On a home show, you'd like to think that you'd, you'd get that decision. 57-57. Uh, he's always in entertaining fights, Kane Baker. Um, he's a great guy. He's got a good team around him. He'll obviously come again. It's not, a, it's not a defeat, although he might feel like a defeat at this moment in time, but it's not a defeat. Uh, I thought he'd done enough to win, to be honest with you, Gull. What would you do with Kane next? And Obviously, he's not going to rematch this guy. Would you still go on the route that you were planning for him? Yeah, I think, look, you know, Errol Johnson knows a lot more than me about the routes you want to take Kane, and Kane will have his own views on it, but we're here to support Kane Baker. We've, we've been uh, with him for a number of years. We want to be with him for a number of years moving forward. He's, he's one of uh, Fight Fan's favourite fighters. He built up a great reputation during those lockdown fights, and he's just a really good guy. We want to support him and push him on wherever he wants to go. Main event, Troy Jones has closed out a points decision over the Slovakian journeyman. Matching shorts, matching with his hair. Tell me about Troy Jones, what's the plans for him? Yeah, Troy Jones, boxer out of Birmingham, he's, he lives in Tamworth, one of John Costello's pro, pro boxers that he's got on his uh, stable now, and he's building a really good reputation. You can hear a raucous crowd here watching him fight, and his cousin Brandon as well, both under that John Costello banner. They're 3-0 and um, from this evening, and they're really going to kick on, and hopefully we can get them both in bigger fights this year, and area titles, and then moving on to English and taking that um, orthodox journey to the top. Before I let you go, a quick mention of Zach Parker, a massive, massive news for you guys today. Frank Warren wins the purse bids for Zach Parker to fight at home against Dimitri Sandrad. Your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that are what a wonderful job that Neil Marsh, as Zach's manager, has done, and what a wonderful job Frank Warren and his team have done as promoters. We know about Zach Parker, you know about Zach Parker. We want everybody to know about Zach Parker. He's the best super middleweight in the world for me. He really is. He's unbelievable. He's been with us from the start of his journey, from Canuck Leisure Centre all the way through and we're just grateful for the team that we've got around us Neil, Frank trained by Errol and Paul he's, uh, he's the jewel in our crown and we, we, we know what he can do and this year everybody else will see that Brilliant Dan just to wrap up when are BCB back I shouldn't even ask you is it tomorrow or Friday or what when is it? Well we're going to have a few days off and we'll be back out next Friday so one more week to go and we'll be back out in Dudley at the venue Vengeance for the venue tickets on sale from myfighttickets.com every week BCB are out there. Yeah, guys, give these guys a follow, man. They're not messing around. They're busy every week and they've got loads of prospects and loads of fighters on your books. Thanks ever so much, Gold. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, Dan.